In this video, I would like to show you how to create a table and upload CSV file in Google BigQuery. We will have a CSV file or CSV files and we will upload them into Google BigQuery. In one of my former videos, I showed you how you can create a test account for the Google Cloud Console or Google BigQuery. This automatically generates your first project, which you can access from the main screen console.cloud.google.com. If you launch it, then you will be prompted like here. By selecting this project, you will di direct it to this project. In this, within this area, you can do all the things which are necessary to run and manage your resources. Today, we would like to focus on Google BigQuery. For that, you jump into your project like I did, and then you select Google BigQuery here under resources. By clicking it, you will directly redirect it to Google BigQuery. Now let's start. Our idea is to upload a CSV file into this Google BigQuery environment. At first, I will delete my already created ones. But this is under my project here. Let's delete it so that you can have an idea how to do all the necessary steps. Do a reload. OK. Now we have here our our project resources and external connections, which are empty. With the button add, you can you get a new air screen on the right side where you can select a local file. If you click on it, then you have the possibility to define which file you want like to upload. By using browse, I prepared two files. One is the customer file, which contains master data. And you see automatically the system or Google BigQuery selects the right format. Let's create a new data set. We name it CSV underline, uh, underline it needs to be underline, files, enter, and create data set. Uh, okay, it needs to be here, done here. CSV underline files. Multi region, we can leave it as it is. Create data set. Now we have a data set created, but we also need to define a new table. Let's call it customers, like our CSV file. The schema, you can define the schema here for the creation of a table, or you can say or define auto select. Auto detect. If you do it, then the source is our uh, the structure of the CSV file. Under advanced options, you can define the delimiter, which need which I need to do because comma is not my separator or my delimiter. I use this one. By clicking create, the Google BigQuery creates automatically a job, and then if this is finished, we would got be prompted. Okay, here we have a new table inside. Let's jump to the table. And now we see that the Google BigQuery automatically generates the columns with the field names of the CC file and also the type. With preview, we can display the data which are inside. Let's do it with another one add local file 
I will use the same C3 file. Customer names is the second one. Advanced options again. Let's check it. Let's use or we'll choose the file. And it's auto detect with custom one. This limiter and create table. The job you can see here how the job is named and which destination table it is. And now you see on the right side, uh, left side here under our data sets the two created tables. Customer names, let's check this also, preview. You see, now we have uploaded and created the tables based on CSV file. Okay, thank you for watching, stay tuned, bye.